YouTube family, it's Dina Colada today, again here with another Canva tutorial. Now one of the questions I get from people is how can I resize images with Canva if I don't have the Canva Pro account? Now it's a lot easier with the Pro account and I do have an affiliate link in the description if you do want to sign up for that. I love it, especially because of the background remover and the transparent um, where you can make the background of images transparent and you can actually just erase the background really quickly. But I want to show you guys who are in the freebie version on how to create an image and make it smaller, shape it up for a different size. So I'm going to um, actually resize this really cool poster my friend Ben Cole made. He's an artist at Native Vibes. I'll put a link in the description for his, his Facebook page too. He created this really cool poster for the West Virginia Cupcake and Craft Beer Festival, which I'm helping work on in Morgantown, West Virginia, um, March 19th, 2022. It's coming up soon. So I want to create some handout flyers too that I can use for this poster. Now it's an 11 by 17 size. So I've opened up the poster I received um, from the artist. It's a JPEG file. So I wanna download that into my computer. And then I'm gonna, gonna go over here and upload it into Canva. So what I wanna do is create a design and I wanna do a custom size and it's gonna be 11, um, oh yeah, 11 tall by 17 inches. 11 inches wide by 17 inches in height and click create new design. Now I like to go step by step really slowly through everything I do because I know there are some videos that people create on YouTube and I can't keep up with them and maybe some other people can't either. So here we've created our new 11 by 17 file, our new design. I'm going to go to uploads and click upload media. And then I have to find in my downloads folder the poster that I'm looking for. There it is. It pops up in the uploaded section on the left hand side of my computer. So I can click it or I can drag it over to go into this. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna make it so it fits right into those crop lines. And I think that looks fantastic. So I'm gonna save this as a WB Cupcake poster. If you want to change the name of any of your files, you click next to the share button, erase the words that, they, that are there, and you can put in your own copy in there for the title. So, okay, I'm going to save this into, a, I'm going to save it first, and then I'm going to save it into a specific folder so I don't lose it. It's in my cupcake craft beer folder, so I'm going to save it into there. Now I have the poster in my upload so I can use in different documents or social media posts, but I want to resize it. So let's see how we can resize something. I want to actually do four images of the same uh, flyer on one page so I can make handouts that I can put in restaurants or um, breweries that are coming to attend. So I'm going to um, click on the poster, click Command C on PC, it might be Control C, and then Command V, and that's going to make it uh, paste, Command V. All right, so that looks pretty even. Now if you want to copy and paste that again, you can just hit Control V again, Command V again. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, great. So now I have four of the same flyer turned into four postcard, more of a postcard size. So I'm going to save that as a four times poster in my files. Let's go ahead and click save to that. Move to folder. I'm going to put it in my project folder so I know where everything is in the same place. Um, Occasionally, Canva does 
not want to save the same file name again or the same image. So what I usually do is I'll copy everything, grab your highlighter mouse, click and pull it across all of your images and click command V or control or command C or control C to copy all of these together. So let's go ahead and create another document. I'm going to go back to the home page just to make sure I can save it into my files correctly. Create a design. It's going to be custom size. Change it to inches, 11 by 17 inches. And then I'm going to simply hit Command V to post all those on there on that new file and click File, Save to Folder. Oh, I need to name it first. Four times, four times cup, cupcake poster. So let's go File, Save to Folder into my projects. Okay, now you can see this little black bubble popped up that said design added to cupcake folder. That's what I'm looking for. Now let's say you want to create a design that is a different size than this. Let's say we want to make an Instagram post. So what we're going to want to do is copy one of those and then we're going to go to the home page again on the left hand side. And then here in the main menu area, we can create Instagram post. So the thing about this is when you hit control V to paste that in, it's not going to be the same size because it, you can't go from a rectangle to a square. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way you can resize an image. Um, this is a flat image. So what I'm probably going to want to do is center it here with these red lines. I could create a different color in the background. We can make it yellow, beige. We can make it a little kind of like that, off gray, off white. Now, if this was um, a file that had different layers to it and it wasn't already a flat JPEG, I could move these around and resize them into my file. Otherwise, we can make this as big or as small as we want. I could turn that into green over here or white. And then I could add some elements. I could add some text. Let's go ahead and add some text in there. I'm going to put tickets are on sale. On sale now. So let's make that look a little prettier. It's effective. So let's do, um, go to elements on the left side. I'm going to put just a box shape around that just to make it a little more stand out-ish. So let's make that a different color. Advanced tickets on sale now. That does the job, right? It's not the most beautiful post I've ever made in my life. Oh, that looks bad. That looks bad too. Green. Let's see what else we could do. I'm going to click the green box up here and make it a little shade of that that's a little lighter. All right. Uh, let's do maybe some background stuff. Maybe some stars. I like to use twinkle stars. Who doesn't like that? Ooh, and these are bold ones. Those are going to look cool. So I'm going to shrink those down. Copy that. Hit Control V. 
I'll put some of those around. All right, that's looking pretty snazzy so far. Let's resize this so it's big enough to fill in that space. And I'm gonna move the position to the back. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna move this down just a little bit more, center it a little more. Okay, so you can see how I've changed um, the 11 by 17 into an Instagram square. It's not perfect, but you can make it look better um, by adding some design elements, putting some copy on the side to make it square. Now I'm gonna show you how to do something that's layered and create a new image with that really quickly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Save that into the correct folder. So I have all of my projects together, which I love. Now I'm gonna make another, let's just go straight from an Instagram post to an Instagram story. So I'm gonna go back to the home again. I'm gonna click Instagram post. And let's see what we've got that we like. Let's do one that's for food. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. Let's try this one out. Buy one, get one free. I'm not gonna go through creating this and making this my own thing. Okay, like if you have Canva Pro, all you have to do is click resize and click to Instagram story. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to use that if you have the Pro plan. But I'm gonna show you how to do it if you don't have Pro. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click outside of the box and hit Command C for Control and Copy. Or you can click Command A and that highlights all of the elements on the Instagram post box. So now what we're gonna do when you hit Command A, Command C to copy, then we're gonna go back to the home page, and then we're gonna create an Instagram story. You can do it with any size that you want. So I'm gonna go here to the story. I'm gonna click on the white rectangle and hit Command V, which will paste everything from that on to this canvas. But I wanna make this background the same. So how you do that is click on the background and you'll see the color pop up in this box in the top left corner. And we're gonna click on the rainbow square with the um, X in it, and this has the hex code for that color. So you're going to want to highlight that, hit Command C, or copy and click with your mouse. Then we can go over to here, click on the background first, and then click on the rainbow box. And then we're going to click on the rainbow box with the plus sign and paste in that hex code. And then it's going to make it the background the same color. Now what you want to do is make that look silly if everything's in the top of the canvas story or the Instagram story. And you also want to think about the elements here. We can grab all of those. We can just make them bigger if you highlight them all together. Or you can click independent elements and move them around to wherever you want. So we can click these together, move them over here. So you can kind of just start playing around, placing the donuts or whatever elements you have to have them look evenly spaced out and have a nice flow. See, that was pretty simple, right? It looks pretty balanced. You can tweak it and make it as perfect as you want. But I think that looks pretty good for an Instagram story. Um, one thing to consider though is up in the top left corner, it's gonna have your Instagram logo or bio picture there. So you might not wanna put anything important in this top left corner. 
And then also if you create a swipe up link, it's going to be showing in this bottom area down here where I'm moving my mouse. So I'm not going to want to put my website name right there in case I have a swipe up link in my Facebook story or my Instagram story. So that's just a couple things to consider. So I think that we're about done and I hope that this video has been helpful in showing you how to create images and resize them to a different size in Canva using Canva for free. So if you want to get the Canva Pro, click the link in the description below. And you can also check out my friend Ben's Native Vibes on Facebook for his really cool art. And I hope this has been helpful. And please click, subscribe, comment, like, and put any questions you have in the comments. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.